meetup on Thursday with CurlyMickey.com and I decided to come down here and meet Dickie up here Rose and um, get him to glamify me for the event. So today I really want to get into the whole Tracy Ellis Ross book. I really, really love her. She's like one of my style inspirations, one of my hair inspirations. Um, and so I'm hoping that we can accomplish this book right here. Um, this is kind of one of her classic braided looks, and um, I'm assuming that they're gonna probably wash and blow dry my hair and do kind of like a side, you know, braid. Um, so, yeah, this is the look that I want to accomplish. So. On Thursday, I am hosting an event with um, curlymickey.com, and so we, I kind of just want a really cool look um, for the evening, and I pulled up some pictures of Trace Ellis Rose. <laughs> Okay, so just two braids. Mm -hmm. Oh, just all right. Two braids or whatever. Um, I haven't straightened or blowed out my hair in over a year because uh -huh. I went natural last November and I've been keeping it away from heat since then because I just I don't know how to handle heat on my hair. So <laughs> you're gonna learn more about your natural texture today than you ever have. Yay! <laughs> um, which is gonna give you a better understanding of um, all the versatility that you have here. The one common myth with pinky hair is that it's um, it's unruly, it's difficult, it's problematic, um, and yet still a large population of women with that hair texture are still wanting to investigate. Very true. They sound like they're these methods that people just kind of made up, <laughs> right? Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's, it's interesting because there's, I'm, I'm always glad to know that the truth rears its little head somewhere, and like, you know, and it's like there's some truth to some of it. Well, the fact remains is that those methods apply to your hair texture. Mm -hmm. But think, you've been spending your whole life getting your hair done once a week. So it's kind of foreign for you to think that like you can incorporate your hair care and your styling into your shower routine. Super excited. <laughs> yes, and I got a haircut after a year, and Dickie is telling me that I never need to go that long without one again. <laughs> 